An active shooter is on the loose at the Washington Navy Yard. This is What's News on WSJ Live. I'm Joanne Poe. Here's what we know now. Navy officials say that at least 10 people are injured and the Washington Navy Yard is locked down as authorities pursue a shooter. Gunshots were fired at 8.20 a.m. Eastern Time at the facility. The incident occurring at Building 197, which is home to the Naval Sea Systems Command, which employs about 3,000 people. Workers inside were ordered to shelter in place. The White House says that the president has been briefed several times regarding the unfolding situation at the Navy Yard. The FAA says that Reagan National Airport is not allowing any flights out. This is a fast moving fluid situation, so keep it right here on WSJ.com for all the breaking developments. The attempt to right the Costa Concordia cruise ship begins. Salvage crews outside Julia Harbor are using a complex system of pulleys and counterweights to gently lift up the cruise ship from its side on the Tuscan Reef where it capsized 20 months ago. It's an operation that has never been attempted on such a huge liner. The goal is to raise it from its side by 65 degrees to vertical for eventual towing. The operation is expected to take 10 to 12 hours. The Concordia crashed into a reef in January 2012 after the captain steered the luxury liner too close to the rocky coastline. 32 people were killed. Global stocks and bonds are rallying Monday after Larry Summers bows out of the race to lead the Federal Reserve. Many investors believe that the former Treasury Secretary would be more aggressive in reining in the Fed's bond purchase program. Mr. Summers has been among the leading candidates to succeed Ben Bernanke. Mr. Summers' withdrawal comes after weeks of mounting criticism from liberals, women's groups and Senate Banking Committee Democrats who opposed Mr. Summers. We'll keep you posted on all the latest news developments throughout the day and what's news on WSJ Live. I'm Joanne Poe.